Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. We are cruising right along in our Budget Precision 223 project. We're featuring the Thompson Center Compass rifle in 223. This is an absolute bargain. It's a precision rifle that you can get for a very, very affordable price. I already covered the setup of the rifle, the center point scope that I'm using. Everything's working great. Now it's time to start the loading process. I'm gonna divide this into two parts. In this video, we're gonna work on the case prep. We're gonna be sizing and depriming. We're gonna be trimming and chamfering. We're gonna look at getting our brass that's been fired once ready to load. I'm using Starline brass, which has been working really, really well. I've gotten some really good groups with just progressive loaded fire forming ammo that I loaded on a five station press. Now it's time to get really precise. We're gonna do some neck only sizing. We're gonna really dial things in to see how good of performance we can get out of this Thompson Center Compass rifle with our Lee Deluxe Challenger kit. It's a very affordable kit, but it has everything you need to build precision ammo. So let's get started with sizing and depriming. So before we set up our sizer, let's cover dies real quick. For this project, I'm using the Lee Ultimate die set, which is a four die rifle die set, packed with options and features. We've got two sizing options. We've got the Lee Collet Neck Only Sizer, we've got the Lee Full Length Sizer, we've got the Dead Length Cedar, and the Factory Crimp die. Factory Crimp die would be great if we were gonna be loading cannulaed bullets or for semi-auto, which we're not in this case. We'll hold that for later. We've also got a shell holder, a powder dipper, but there's one more thing we need to complete this assortment of tools in terms of dies, and that's the quick trim die in 223 to use with the quick trim tool that comes with the Lee Deluxe Challenger kit. So let's get the collet sizer set up. We're gonna need the die, and we're gonna need one of the bushings. Die setup here is super easy. We just drop the bushing and push down and turn until it stops turning. Then we back off our lock ring just a little bit, start the die in, raise the ram, turn the die down until it contacts the shell holder. Right there. Now we've got one more turn, half turn plus a half turn, and then we snug the lock ring down. That is it. Before we can size the cases, we need to lubricate the outside and the inside of the case necks since we're using a neck only sizer. I'm gonna use the Lee resizing lubricant that came with the Deluxe Challenger kit and just squirt a little bit of this out onto my blue towel. And then we're gonna use a Q-tip for the inside of the case necks. So I can spin that here in some of the lube, work that into the cotton We'll have that on hand, and then for each case, we simply get a little dab of the case sizing lubricant. We grab our Q-tip, get the inside of the case. We don't want excess on here. We just want enough. We can do a few of these without having to dip our finger again. We just want enough so that the die doesn't gall the brass, and we have a nice, smooth action. So I'll go ahead and work through these and we'll go on to the actual sizing operation. So I've got my brass bins arranged, unsized closest to me, sized further away from me. That way I can keep track of which bin of cases is which. And the process is quite simple. We're gonna insert a case into the shell holder raise the ram all the way, we can kind of feel the springing action of the collet there. Remove the case. Now, when we've set up a sizing die, regardless of whether it's neck only or full length, we always check with a case gauge. So I'm gonna wipe the lube off of the case neck, drop it into the case neck. I can see it's above the lower step, below the upper step. Looks like trim length, still plenty of room there. No surprise, because when we neck only size, we don't grow the brass nearly to the same extent as we would if we were full length sizing. So we're just gonna repeat the process. You can see our primers falling into the spent primer funnel and tube. You can direct the tube into a trash can. Running smooth. Thank you. 
So I just finished sizing the brass, and in this particular case, we don't need to trim the brass, but I wanted to show the process because the Deluxe Challenger kit comes with the Lee Quick Trim tool. We've got the Lee Quick Trim die. It's very quick to set up, and it does a great job. Let me show you how that works. Setting up the quick trim is really quick. The first thing we need to do is remove the die we were using previously. We're gonna take the quick trim die, turn it down so that the lock ring is all the way at the top. We feel that stop. We're gonna insert another bushing into the press, rotate it until it stops, and then start turning the die in. We're actually gonna turn it all the way in. It doesn't matter where the ram is at in its stroke because it's just going to be pressing lightly up against the shoulder inside the quick trim die. Now we insert the cutter, get that all the way down, pressing against the spring. We've got the chip tray here that I've put onto the shell holder. Now we can take a piece of brass, this is a sized 5.56 piece of brass here that needs a trim. We're going to insert it into the shell holder and I like to just have my arm come down and then spin my wrist in a circular motion, keeping my elbow stationary. Let's see how that works. So as we come up, we're going to start rotating, do a quick trim, and then look at how nice that case mouth looks. Just a slight chamfer on the inside and the outside. Let's see that one more time. Just going to barely start rotating, press down against it. another super nice trim. Now we didn't need to trim in this case, but if we did, this is fast and it does three steps at once. The two length trim, outside chamfer, and the inside chamfer. Very nice, very inexpensive setup. If you need to adjust the length of the trim, you just use this click wheel here. It's very quick, it's already set to the proper adjustment range. Super good tool. Another thing that comes with the Lee Deluxe Challenger Kit is the Lee Case Conditioning Kit. We've got two components of the Lee case trimming setup, which also requires what Lee calls a case gauge. Looks kind of like a decapping rod, allows the case to spin and work against the cutting edges. We've also got two other tools. One is for primer pocket cleaning. We just insert and spin. It's got both small and large primer pocket cleaning surfaces there. And then we've also got an outside and inside case neck chamfer tool. Puts a nice little edge on that. No motorization required. So this gives us further options for the case prep process. Well, there you go. We're halfway through the precision loading process. We took cleaned cases, we set up the press, we neck only sized our cases, we checked it with the case gauge, we showed the trimming process, although that wasn't necessary here. Love about the quick trim that we also get the inside and outside case mouth chamfer as well. We showed cleaning the primer pockets, we showed alternate methods for the case mouth chamfer, which is nice if you don't need to trim. In the next video, we're gonna go through the rest of the process. We're gonna prime the cases, we're gonna charge with powder, and we're gonna seat bullets. After that, we get to shoot, and I can't wait to see what kind of results we're gonna get. My progressive loads did awesome. I think these neck only sized, fire formed brass case loads are gonna do even better in the Thompson Center Compass. So, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss any of the action on Ultimate Reloader, including the rest of the videos in this series, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I got a full blog post right up with more details. See the first link in the video description. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.